This is question three from uh, May 2006. Um, it's Chinese postman problem. I'm going to use this to explain a couple of key points about Chinese postman problem. First is, when you answer a question like this, you're, uh, you're mainly interested in the odd nodes. So I'm going to go around counting to see where the odd nodes are. This is two, so that's even. This is three, odd. Just colour that in there. This is four, so that's even. Two, even. Three, odd. One, two, three, four, five, six, even. Four, even. Three, odd. Three, odd. Now, a quick check is that I've got an even amount of odds. There must always be an even amount of odds. That's the handshake theorem. Now, the problem is we cannot start and finish at the same place. We're told we've got to start and finish at A. We can't start and finish at the same place if we've got odd vertices anywhere. So we have to add roots to make those odd vertices even. And our possible pairings are A with E, which the shortest route is 41. It's this and this is the shortest route. That's 41. I'll show why that works in a moment. And we also pair C with G. And the shortest route to pair C with G is 36. So the total that we add if we pair those two up is 77 in total. I'll show you graphically what's happening here. We're adding extra routes. We're going to go along that route twice and that route twice. Notice now A and E are now even. D was even to start with and we've gone in and out so it's still even. Now C and G, we've got to do the same sort of thing, this time through F. So adding those roots adds 77 to the total. Uh, let's see what other possibilities would be. We could have paired A with C. If we pair A with C, the shortest route is, uh, the direct route, it's 44. Now just be careful, because this one's only 46. So just be careful that it is the shortest, just because it looks like it should be. doesn't necessarily mean it is on these networks. So A to C. If we're joining A to C up, we need to join E to G. Uh, whilst I'm writing this, the shortest from E to G. Have a look at that. Shortest from E to G is definitely 35. It's this way. So 44 and 35, and that makes 79. So that's no better. So... Pairing those two up is the equivalent to doing this route twice and these two twice. Now everything's even. But that adds 79, so that's a bit worse than what we found in the first one, which only adds 77. So let's get rid of that. There's another way of pairing these vertices up, and that A with G, which we're, we can see looks like it's a long way away, but it's actually only 36 away. 36, 21 and 15 is 36. And we also need to pair up then C with E. There's only ever three ways to do this, so this is the third way. C with E uh, adds 45, and that's 81, so that's no better. So the best possible pairing is, is the first one, AE. 41 and CG 36 and that adds 77 to the total so there's the there's the ones so the ones which need to be traversed twice are that's, I should say find there the one which needs to be traversed twice are AECG uh, and the arcs are ADDE and CF FG. So we need to traverse four arcs twice. State the minimum length of the route. If the total weight of the network is 394, we've added 77 to that. So that gives us a total of 471. Okay, now just to show you what that route would be, it doesn't matter. Watch as I'm not even thinking about it. I'm going to start at A, and I'm going to finish at A. Watch how simple this is. A to D. D back to A, A to B, B to E, to there. Not thinking about this at all. Just travelling along the routes. 
Okay. Let's see, the only ones I'm going along twice are the ones I've added. And you see that it's pretty much impossible to go wrong. And there we go. And if we added up the length of that route, that would have been, I think we said 471 was the total. Now, if we're able to start and finish at two distinct verses, that means different, so we don't have to start and finish at A. Now A can be odd. So A is allowed to be odd if we, need to, if we can start and finish there. If we can start there and finish somewhere else, sorry, A can be odd. So can all of these evens. Uh, we, can, we can have one odd, but we start at, sorry, I'll start that again. If we start and finish at different vertices, then the one we start at needs to be odd, and the one we finish at needs to be odd. Now the quickest way to pair them up, the shortest number to pair them up, I've crossed out there what it, what it is, but E to G only adds 35. E to G is the shortest to connect up our two odd vertices. So I reckon that if we were to just pair up E to G like this, that adds 35. It's made these two both even. Now if we start at A and finish at B, it only adds 35 to the total length. That's, that's C, so you start at A and finish at C, it only adds 35. So 35 is the smallest of these numbers, basically. And now again, if we start at A, we're going to finish at C. Watch how this is again impossible to do wrong, except, watch, if I went to C now, that would... I mean, I've painted myself into a corner. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go over all these lines. I'm going to repeat that one. Go over all these lines. Oh, I'm painting myself into a corner nearly there. So don't go back to D here. So I'm having to think about this a little bit. Now go back to D and there. So that's the route which starts at A and finishes at C. It only added 35 to the total. That's quite an unusual question.